let me do this because there's no I don't turn them. We're not getting any paint ready. We're trying to get this to the point where I can paint it. And so far I've had nothing but pain and suffering getting there. I don't even Yes, we're trying to get something ready to be painted. That's, that's what I was trying to convey. And I don't know, I don't think we have enough time now, but we'll see. Get this somewhere. Uh. I mean, the honest answer is it's not going to be. I get all these turning tools and just throw them on a shelf somewhere where they're going to sit and rust until I can figure out one. Sorry, I'm just got too much stuff and not enough space for it. I'm going to figure out where I'm going to put the planer dad gave me because right now it's just taking up space. Because I don't have a workbench to hold it because all of my other power tools already have spots. Okay, here's all of the... Sorry, I'm grumpy. But plenty to be grumpy about. got hinges for the doors we've got doors we may or may not cut the doors to the actual height they need to be but that's a different story but the big thing we need to do is get the wheels ready and attached I don't even know if I have the wood ready for that. Basically, we need to attach the wheel runners. That or just glue. Oh, shit. The glue should be starting. Except for, you know, I haven't actually started. I've got a glue pot that's hot with no water or glue in it. All right. Painting doors and wheels. Yeah. That, attaching the top to the, the 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 runners for the top to the bottom, putting the doors on and putting the wheels on, and that's pretty much what I have left before it's paint ready. The hard part is sticking that all in in a, what was a two-hour period. And also trying to unload my toolbox when dad dumped a bunch of tools and new wood on me. So I don't have space to unload my toolbox so that I can move my toolbox. But we'll get there, don't worry. Okay, there's some glue. Maybe put a little more glue in there. Sorry, I'm off screen and all, but we're trying to get glue cooking so that we can do other things while the glue is cooking. Just a tiny bit of water in there to get it working. And this is what... Alright. Don't... 
Don't know if Mecca's going to show up today. Heck, don't know if anyone will. But let me get just a tad bit of water in here. Okay. And now the glue can cook. All right, so let's see if we can get things going here. We need, well, hell, let's make it easy on myself. Okay. See, do we want to attach doors or do we want to try and get these wheels on? I kind of want to get the wheels on just so I can get that out of the way. I'm tired of it not having wheels. And we were just going to use some of these one buys as wheel slats. It's not that I don't have a way to store it in a usable way, it's that I don't have a place to store it. That's the problem. Like, I need, I literally need to finish this now. Like, it's not a, oh, I want to finish this. I need to finish this, otherwise I will never have anywhere to store my tools. Because I need to empty the shelf of the rest of the hand tools be able to do anything and then I need to dedicate some of the shelves that I was going to use for lumber for t power tools now I've been slowly getting rid of hand, the hand tools off the shelf so I could use it for lumber, and now I can't even do that. Okay, we're going to cut that side off because that has a knot. Do we have a... Let's see if we got a better piece for this side. Probably don't. No, that's probably the best one. How do you fit in? You're going to be a bastard as well. Okay. All right. Let's see what we can do. What kind of screws do I have? Sorry, I'm jumping here, there, and everywhere, but I don't really have a plan at the moment. I didn't have time to make a plan. It was all useless. Just prep it. Give me one that isn't completely destroyed. Jeez. I love Home Depot. Bald. How about you? You might do. 
There's only one way to find out. We just okay. All right. Where? Sorry, like I said, I'm just disheveled and don't have a plan and started late. And okay, it's not in here. Where the hell is... Okay, you're here. Hey, Mecca, how you doing? Fuck it. Should just not even be streaming, I guess. What else can go wrong? Oh, this sounds about like my work then. It's also just peachy. Hoping to get the uh, runners installed to this so that we can have wheels on it. We do have uh, we do have the wheels. We have the hinges. We have door stock. We got glue slowly cooking, so we could possibly put the bottom and the top together. Uh, we have a whole slew of beginner uh, level lathe tools and a beginner level lathe we have a planer we have no place for either of them but we have them i'm not aggravated at all i mean i i love the fact that i have them i'll we'll use them but i don't have the space for them um here let me show you So, Mecca, just like I said, uh, well, actually, I'll just take a picture of it. I'm not moving the thing. I got it stored over there. Um, so, like I said, family family visited this last weekend, and Dad did what he does. I, I love him for it, but it also aggravates me when I say, please don't bring power tools. I don't have room for power tools. I physically do not have the room for power tools. Um, and he brought a lathe and he brought a power planer. Now the power planer I'm going to find room for because I will take that so I don't have to kill myself planing wood. Um, every single time I want something to a certain thickness, so I will take the thicknesser. Um, but I, he also brought a lathe, which awesome, except I don't have anywhere in this little one car garage for a lathe. So, okay. But I have a full set of tools for it too. Um, we're going to take the wheel off. We're going to start cutting these down. We got a bit. All right. I'm, I think I'm. That's probably the only thing we can do is make more shelves in the basement, but I don't want to clutter the basement with a ton of power tools and a ton of everything else. All right. These need to get cut so that we can make the bottom runners. I just also I'm kind of aggravated that UPS hasn't showed up yet. <laughs> That's a different story, but I would have thought UPS would have showed up by now. All right. And I don't know where half of my tools are because I kind of had to like condense everything into a giant pile to move stuff in from there. Now the thing I'm really glad for though is I've got several boards 
of uh, three quarter, four quarter walnut. So awesome. Awesome for that. I'm stupid happy for that. It's just, I don't have room for power tools. Oh, that's the glue cooking. What? Oh, hell yeah. Never mind. We're going to, we're going to turn this into an unboxing. I can be less grumpy now. Do you see me? Okay. Are you locked? Cool. Okay. Do you see me this time? Okay. Let's try and get back on track since we're already 30 minutes behind schedule. <sighs> All right. I'm about ready to throw stuff at the fucking wall. Just, it's, I'm just work shit. This shit. Some of you should be able to guess what it is. Just because of my lament, and why would I have a box this big from Lee Valley? I was really looking forward to streaming tonight, just because I haven't been in my I haven't been in my shop in forever, and it's like the only thing that keeps me from burning down places at this point. But either way, it came. Come on. It's a box within a box within a box. Honestly, I kind of want to see what's in this first. I know you guys. Oh, cool. I don't have to print that out later. Good. Yay. Thank you. So for those who are interested, if you buy the shooting board plane, they give you the, uh, they just print out the instructions on how to build the shooting board that they have on their website. Even though in all honesty, you can get it. You can download it directly from Lee Nielsen. I just hadn't printed it out yet. Okay, I guess they don't do the pine box anymore. Oh. Which I am kind of sad about, but that means I get to make my own pine box. Ooh, you are going in the toolbox. I, I was really hoping it would still come with the pine box. Yeah, well, here's the thing, Mecca. Here's the thing. I, over the course of the last week and a half, have been talking with Lee Nelson, or with the company and to tell you the truth the chances of a left hand ever coming back into production are very slim and to uh quote what i told them i've been living in a right-handed world long Long enough, I already have right-handed woodworking tools. It's not going to be hard for me to learn how to shoot with a right-handed shooting plane. I did give them suggestion that the way that their website works, and they're going to take it into consideration, um, you can only sign up to get notifications about tools that you want if it's not a core tool. You 
you know, so you can say, oh yeah, I, I'm interested in buying this, but you don't have any in production at the moment. And when it hits a certain amount, they put it into production. The problem with left hand and right hand tools, they don't give you the option to say, I would like it in the left hand, or I would like it in right hand. Um, they do have 10 castings for a lefty, but you need 100 for a run, and I'm not paying $10,000 to get one lefty. Uh, later on in life, if they, uh, if they make a lefty again, I will definitely get the lefty. But you're looking at my newest tool, the Lee Nielsen shooting plane. It is a right-handed plane. I decided waiting 10 to 12 years for a lefty to get made and then probably not getting it anyways is not is not going to be conducive. And yes, I know Lee Valley has a left-handed shooting plane, but I really like the look and the functionality of Lee Nielsen's because it is based off of Stanley. And I like Stanley you know, Bailey style planes, even though this is more of, a, this is a Stanley Bedrock style, but I just don't like the way that the Lee Valley shooting plane looks. And it also has a bunch of screw adjustments and lever adjustments and attachments you can put on it. And in my mentality, and I may be getting old in my ways, the more you do things like that, the more places it can break. So I just want to stay away from things that if it breaks, I, I mean, if it has a propensity where there are parts where it can break, I want to stay away from that. All right, have a good one. Have a good one then, Mecca. Okay, this is the one we're just cutting there. We're going to just try and get something done tonight. <laughs> the key word is get something done tonight. Because we're not going to be streaming Sunday, most likely. If we do, awesome, but I'm probably going to be so far gone from LARP that I probably won't have the gumption to do it. So let's cut these and get some wheels attached. And if it's looking like it's going to be too hard to get the doors on, we're going to get the bottom and the top connected, and then we can do doors later. I mean, Gazank, that's perfectly fine. I've been using my, I've been using a number six as my uh, go-to shooter for a long while. There's no. No shame in using a regular plane. I just, it, it, it was there. And I said, while it's there, I might as well just go for it. I can't let Lee Valley hear that I uh, chose. I can't let them find me on stream and see that I'm using competitors playing. They could be watching right now. I know them. <laughs> they have a. <laughs> they have a. They have an account. I know they have an account on Twitch.
just trying to get the ends clean enough that I can get these uh, lag bolts in to hold the wheels on. Creaky popping noises. Um, sorry. Uh, is it any better or was that just because I was going through brittle wood? Could be either at this point. Because this stuff is brittle and angry. I'll need you. Do -do -do. All right, let's see what we can do. Get the wheels on this thing. The wheels on the chest are not attached. Not attached. Not attached. Do, do, do. That could be, I'm getting old. All my shoulder creakings. Let's see how bad this happens. It's going on the underside, right? Nobody cares if it gets a little dinged up. There we go. Where is my mallet? Mallet! Do I'll try and not move around for you guys then. Oh yeah, I was supposed to do this. Come on. One year, two months, 22 days, down to the second. Ah, no, 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 stay.
All right. While we're thinking about what just happened here, press. Press. So basically, wait a minute here. How thick are the lag screws? I may be just overthinking things here. How thick are the lag screws? They kind of just barely stick through. I could always get, no, 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 yeah, I remember why. I didn't want metal protruding from the bottom. That's why I was doing it. I didn't want the metal protruding from the bottom, even, even just slightly. I, I, I wanted a nice wooden bottom. But here's the thing. I don't have any way to, do I just want to just put it in and cut them off? Put a piece of leather over it? I need to build a new shooting plane, board, believe it or not. But no, um, we will use it as soon as I can. It will not sit dormant for long because I will not allow it to. I just won't. Okay. Right. We're going to do this so I can stop hammering and readjust, hammer, readjust, hammer, readjust. Sorry, I'm still plenty flustered for many reasons right now. Come on, just eat in. There we go. The new plane, pretty much every project. Shooting is something I pretty much do on everything. It's just, it's a, it's a plane specialized for doing it so that I don't have the problems I have with the six, which is slight rocking. And honestly, the, the casting isn't actually at a true 90 degree angle from itself. So like I've never actually gotten a decent shoot out of it, but I've gotten serviceable and serviceable is usually good enough for shop work but I want something that'll give me a really good edge for stuff that I'm making to sell be a smart boy. Make sure before I even attach this to the bottom, make sure that these don't just split it right out. Because that would be a travesty. Like I said, I'm just But that's also why I'm doing this now and not connecting it. Because 
want these if they're gonna bust out I want it to bust out before I want it to do it before I connect something to it, the bench. Looks like it'll work. Okay. Said the blind man. Yes, I did hydrate. I probably need to do it again anyways. Now we're going to do this the easy way. Keep that one set up for the big boy drill. For now. You're not going to believe this though, Mecca. I actually broke one of my uh, one of my Phillips tips for my for my Yankee. Where? That should do. Just kind of made me laugh. I was like, are you, are you kidding me? I broke it on a brass screw. Come on. There we go. Okay. my favorite little hammer. There you are. Sorry, I am all kinds of scattered today and I don't, uh, no, don't loosen that one, loosen this one. And I don't really have all of me here. to see if the clay pipe got fully and utterly destroyed there. Oh, cool, it survives, good, yay. But yeah, um, so I will at some point take pictures of the lathe and all that stuff, but uh, don't expect me to stream on it. 
I literally have no idea what I'm doing with it, so I'm not going to even propose that I am any good at it. All right, let's put a wheel on. Where is wheel one? Here comes the fun part. You notice this is not really good for using ratchets. So I can really only use the ratchet to get them started. Although if I had the right size socket, I could probably do it. Don't quote me on that. Actually, dear, if you're watching, can you get the tools out of the back of my car? Because I would. Okay, never mind. You're not watching. <laughs> All right, we do it the hard way. Where is okay? preferred method. This will take forever. Sorry guys, this is going to be kind of mind-numbingly slow. if I can get this to bully in. Yeah, that's, that's really good. Yeah, that's, that's what we want. I'm gonna go any faster. Okay, cool. the fact that this could be done way easier. Sorry, my brain just finally had a, a realization here. Do I have... Uh, I'd have to cut them off. 
set them off with It's not not having any idea how to what to do with my lathe. It's I have no idea how to use said lathe. Like, I mean, I've got a basic idea, but you're talking about someone who would be stepping up to bat for their first time. With literally no instruction except for what they found on the internet. Okay, okay, this is at least working. I mean, if I have to put a little bit of filler to cover up the blowout from the nails, big, big whoop. But it's working. It's working! Okay. I used to say this a lot. One of the, one of the tools you always want in a shop, no matter where you're at, crescent wrench. So many uses for a crescent wrench, including a hammer. And if you don't believe you can use a crescent wrench as a hammer, then you've got an inferior crescent wrench. Here's the funny thing. Why am I putting this on now? Oh! <laughs> anyway, next! <laughs> I mean, this isn't even my first crescent wrench. I, I've got one that's older. This is an old Craftsman, but you can tell it's not really old because it has millimeters down the side. Let me see if I can find the old crescent. This, on the other hand, I've had since I was in kindergarten. Dad gave it to me. It has so far outlasted every other tool I've had to the point where I trust that old diamond wrench more than I trust anything that says Craftsman on it. Mainly because I don't think you can even find a diamond wrench anymore. Okay, that's not good. That's exactly what I wanted to see. We're taking you back out. All right, changing plans. <laughs> that just split it out, so we got to figure out a different way to do the wheels. And what I'm probably going to end up doing 
is going and getting proper size lag bolts or proper size bolts and just bolting it right through. Come on. Okay, you got to be the only person I know of that has diamond wrenches then, because nobody seems to know this brand. And I always joke that it's one of those brands that put themselves out of business. Okay, so... Come on, just, I'm glad we had that happen on the first one we tried at the edge. It just shattered, so that tells me this is a bad plan. Come on, just, just loosen up. Honestly, one second here, we're just going to... See if we can speed this up the old-fashioned way. We don't need to dis we don't need to take the wheel off the piece of wood. We just need to take the piece of wood. Off here. I will salvage those nails in a bit. We're going to take the wheels off. We're going to move in a different direction. <laughs> Today is the day of not moving forward at all. <laughs> yeah. But when I say that, I don't mean it because we can at least make the biggest move forward possible. And that is... getting the top and the bottom fully mated. Because regardless, we have been cooking glue, and I knew at some point in time we were going to have to do this. So let's just do it too. And just, this is the stream of nothingness. Today, guys, uh, in fact, I may have to, ooh, that's a good point. I may have to take the, I will have to, <laughs> or we can do it a little differently. Doop -a -doop -a -doo. <laughs> I may have to, will have to move the camera or do this in a completely different area where the camera is no longer part of the plan. Hey guys, deal with you're going to have to deal with the fact that it's like this. Thank you. Okay. Because Gluing it up is going to have to take place over here, otherwise we're going to knock the camera right off its hinges. Also, there is a steel beam right where the camera was, so it's not like we could have done anything with it. Okay, so time to take everything possible weight-wise out of... out of the glorious, glorious toolbox because I'm going to have to be able to carry it. So. 
luckily it won't be for long. Won't be for long. Okay. Bloop. And it's mostly unloading the bottom half that I need to do. Stanley, you. Oh, the 45 and all its fun. Blades in here. Getting there, guys. All right. These babies can just go over here. This is why I didn't want Dad to drop off a bunch of tools because now I'm missing space where I used to put these. Okay. I guess put them on top of the lathe tools for right now. All right, these are out. Good. Okay. What will take most of the weight out of here is the obvious thing. Take all of the metal planes out. And once the metal planes are out, we're basically home free. planes are actually 90% of the weight in the top. Okay. Make it easy on me to do that, 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 and that. Put you back in here because I don't trust putting my saws anywhere for any length of time that is not where they're supposed to be. Take these out. Here. And this should be light enough to do what must be done. Okay, before we do it, do it. Double check that <clears throat> No, that is not how we're doing it. Okay. How we are doing it, though, will be very interesting. Okay. Take you off. Push you on. We're going to at least get one thing done, guys, if it's the one thing I do today, it's getting these things glued into place, possibly even nailed into place. All right, put you here. All right. All right, we're gonna at least get this done, guys. Something, we're gonna get something done. One teeny tiny brush. No, big, too big. Oh yeah. Okay, what have I missed?
Oh, okay, where do I? That's <laughs> pretty good, Mecca. Sorry, I haven't been paying attention. All right. So here's the plan. We take the glue. And because it sets up fairly fast. We actually probably need to put a little more glue in there now. Or... Yeah. Let's go. Hi, hi, glue. Being careful to only put it on the part you want stuck. Okay, this back down here. Do 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 do. Get it lined up. Hope to God that takes. Okay, good. Okay. Leave it like that for five seconds. Because now we take all these off. chisels out. Now we actually unload the baby all the way. Like I said, kind of flustered that I don't have any shelf space to put my tools anymore for this portion because there used to be a whole bunch of space. Now, I just have to throw them all down here and hope to God nothing bad happens. Guess what? Now I don't have a bench to do any of this on. So now I have to just hope. I don't have anywhere to put my planes. I don't have anywhere to put anything. Like I said, just major inconvenience. Or minor inconvenience, depending on how you want to look at it. that I do not have a place for my stuff while I'm doing this. <laughs> Here we go, Mecca. Eventually you'll have one.
All right. Here comes the fun part of, okay, the blocks are glued in. And now that I don't have, mm -hmm. it's like, now that I don't have anywhere to put it, I don't have anywhere to like maneuver this and actually put the nails in that need to go in. God bless it. Do I have some small small screws? Small screws. Probably no. These are five eighths. They're not going to work. Too small. Too small. Small screws, yes. Brain works in mysterious ways. Or that. Brain indeed work in mysterious ways. All right. We got small screws. We got drills. A flathead driver somewhere that isn't buried under 4,000 tools. There we go. We got a flathead. If you notice, the two blocks of wood are now disappeared. Meaning they glue. God. <clears throat> Meaning they took to it. That's good. Lay this on its back. They took to it. They're right there. Okay. Now I need a drill. Drill, drill, drill. Do I have one that is available? If so, where the hell is it at? You're available. You got the wrong size bit, but that doesn't mean anything to me. shall do. Unless I need something slightly bit. Actually. You. You shall do. I only need four screws and once they're on, they're on.
I said, sorry guys, I'm flustered. About a bunch of things, but if we can get the cleats secured, today has been a success, I guess. Now I think about one thing that I didn't think about, countersinking. I kind of need to do that. This over with here. Countersink, countersink, countersink. Where's my countersinks? They're in this guy. Uh, also, they're all bad. No, stop it. Can Again, anyone want to take some stuff off my hands? Okay. I don't know how well this is going to go since since I can't really put any pressure on it. At all. One second here. Bit, bit. There. Sunk. Heck, I might see if I've got a flathead bit for this. A little more sunk than that. I guess that'll do. Okay, this one. Over here. There's at least some countersinking in there. Good. Next, screws. I'm going to have one hell of a time cleaning my. <laughs> I'm going to have one hell of a time reorganizing the shop. Okay, where did I put the screwdriver? There you are. chat bot over towards me so I can at least survey that. So he said, sorry guys, flustered and going insane. But I think at least now we'll have cleats installed. Why am I not using my uh, Yankee? Because it is now completely buried in tools. I cannot get to it. Okay. Secured. Next. We're going to 
have to figure out how we want to do the wheels. Unfortunately, I am not going to be available Sunday. So next Wednesday is going to be the next stream. And I think after we get the cleats attached, we're going to have to call it for today. Um, so I will think about how to get those wheels attached because I def it definitely did not work the way I thought it would. Come on. Use them risk muscles. Come on. Okay. Two more screws. Next time we will at least put on the doors, maybe the doors and wheels, but soon we will have a fully functioning lower section. And today is a testament of no matter how much you plan, nothing can go, you know, things can always go horrifically wrong. Okay, one more screw, and we're through. So after, the, after we get this screw in, we are going to uh, repack the toolbox because I am not leaving all my tools out like this. Period. Yeah. The wall space I have is not really something I can do anything about. I'd have to build shelves. Um, I can't just attach them to the walls because it's a rental. All right, so the cleats at least got attached and all were happy. Huzzah! Sorry. Because once again, sorry, I'm a little flustered, so everything's going insane. All right, we at least have this built to the point where top and bottom will mate. Period. And now I gotta be really careful about putting uh, the drawer in because it's on two cleats. But let us reload. Ooh, I really, really can't wait till it's on its bottom unit permanently. That is, that's some scary shit right there. All right, well, let's put the scariest part in first because if, if it goes wrong, at least I'm not trashing all of my tools at once. All right, scariest part first. Mainly because this guy doesn't like to go in very nicely. Ugh, scariest part's over. 
now we add mass. Which one are you? Okay, rip cut. All right, guys, I'm in a better mood because we were able to do something. <laughs> Cross cut. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yep, we got that backward. Cross cut. Rip cut. All right, guys. I said sorry for the grumpy mood today. Um, but we did do something. And where is my phone? Because now I don't know where the chat bot is. Oh, uh, that's kind of a bad thing. Ah, uh, there you are. Hey, hi, Jinx. How you doing? Yeah, if it wasn't a rental, I I would have. This, the entire layout would be different. <laughs> the entire layout, like these goofy shelves that came with it would not be part of this. It would be much better high quality shelves. Putting the chisels in. Reload. You guys can, I guess, suffer through me putting all this stuff in or we can raid out. But considering the time is, ah, we got time before raid out. So let's just put some of Wes's sanity back in place. So the most, honestly, the most difficult part is done now because the cleats have been secured to both sides. That is actually the most difficult part of this whole, like building the bottom part is making sure the top and the bottom align and interlock. Better. Sorry, <laughs> the blade was slipping. Uh, sorry if I missed you coming in here, hijinks, but we're trying to get this done as soon as possible. Big bada plane. Other bada planes. But the good thing is, is like since dad did come and he finally got to see the little number four fully cleaned up and fully in service again. Draw bore pins. Carving mallet. Which is inexplicably covered in wax at the moment. There. You there. Slowly making it habitable again. Molding plane. Right, up there they are. Okay. Sorry for making you guys suffer through uh, 
I'm be reloading everything, but I really, really do not want to leave any of this, and I do mean any, outside of its their nice, safe, stored locations. Come on. I do like that they gave me a giant desk and pad. It makes me stupid happy. I've been looking, oh, I've been hoping to get a giant desk and pad and something to throw in this, this toolbox of doom. Okay. here. We are almost to the point of sanity. Okay. Of having like just a little bit of peace of mind. You can stay right there. Okay. Dovetail template. We little hammer. Let's put the bit and brace back up. Where's the other bit and brace? I'm confused. There you are. Okay, I feel like I missed something. What's the cowhide thing? Ah, oh, that's all right, hijinks. Um, today was kind of a screwball day because um, Several things conspired against me, but basically what we did was try to put wheels on the lower portion of my Dutch tool chest that we're building, failed at it, and then just after failing at that, decided we're going to attach the, the uh, cleats together, got that done, called today a success because now the top and the bottom can interlock with each other. So, here is the bottom. And like I said, like, camera's probably not even following me anymore. The camera's uh, focused over here, isn't it? Yeah. Hi. There we go. So here's the bottom. And when we have these cleat holders on the bottom. We now have cleats on the top that lock right into it. I'm glad I pulled those off when I did. We had a little bit of spill over here, but we can scrape that off later um, from the glue. Also, let me continue. Oh, it's going to continue following me. Cool. Uh, let me continue getting all of my stuff put back in here. Mainly because I want the tools to be where they're supposed to be. Ugh. There's that. 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 If you can notice, I do need more space in my toolbox, which is why the lower compartment is being built. Oh, um, Redwood. 
I don't know if the counter is working properly anymore, but that's definitely redwood. Wonder when I did that. Oh, geez, turn the glue off. It's educational. What if she cuts herself? That will be an important lesson. All right. All right, it's covered up. We're not breaking any terms of service. Don't demonetize me. I covered it up. Ain't, ain't no red goopy stuff on the screen. down and we're pretty much good all around at this point okay ah. that explains that we're not gonna take all of my stuff out one time and I don't remember how it all fits. There we go. Now we should be good. There. Okay. So with that, we should probably... I mean... I wonder if that actually is accurate though for uh, for just this project. I don't know if I actually have, okay, you need to stop following me. Thank you. Okay, so we are basically, basically done guys. Um, it's nine o'clock. I typically stop right around nine. We got the cleats on, the cleats are secure. They're glued and screwed. I got to figure out how we're going to do the uh, the wheels. We do have the hinges. Oh, before we go, let me show you what the hinges look like. So in the spirit of the Dutch tool chest, I bought wee little ones that look exactly like it. I'm going to oil them up though, because they're a little stiff, but you know, wee little ones that look exactly like it like the long straps just smaller that's all just a bit smaller um it's like i said sorry tonight's been a hectic mess let's see who we can wait out to let's see we got texas like right now my brain is not willing to try searching we're gonna yeah Texas Space Agency it is. Brain is at minimum usage. So once again, um, no Sunday stream. We'll be back Wednesday again, hopefully. Um, hopefully the we're not delayed again. And then uh, after that, we should be back to Sunday Wednesdays again. Sorry for the hectic last minute schedules here. Is it too? Oh, Texan. All right. So we're going to go watch a little bit of blacksmithing. Uh, heckle him if you can. Um, glad you guys came back after all the fun uh, on and off I've had. So, uh, like again, 
next Wednesday. See you guys.